Now I'm just waiting for Caleb to pick me up and it's raining as you can probably tell a gloomy start to my trip Hello! Thank you, thank you for picking me up Here we are finally here I have not been here in probably like 10 years in JP I don't know what's going on in these days but I know there's a lot of food here We call a foodie heaven <laughs> But generally this place is so peaceful, everything is so green. Hardly see any skyscrapers. All tall buildings. So we are now seeing the famous milk tea street in Johor. Oh 20. 20 over a bubble tea places. Wow, what's that? Oh, there's more bubble tea over here. Do you think we have a uh, time to stop for one? One bubble tea? <laughs> I reckon. You reckon? I must uh, try at least one. Wow, okay. Wow, it's thick, like. It's it really thick, thick, it's harder than I thought. Whoa, that is thick. Like, really, really thick. Right now, we are in Caleb's place. So, this is his house, which he has graciously let me stay on. Oh, okay, bright lights. And apparently, he has a gift for me. What could this gift be? I am really curious. So, can you guess what's in the cooler? Oh, you prepared something for me in the cooler? Ta -da! Oh! What's this? Great! It's Green, the white fizzy grapes. fruit. It's like the carbonated one. How? Try one. Fizzy grapes? Okay. When you eat it, there's actually gas busyness in the fruit. Wow, how do you do that? Let me guess, you injected it. No, so you put the dry ice in together with the grapes and then you wrap it like tightly. It's like this club soda inside this grape. Yeah. And it's huge. Okay, I did not expect this gift. Thank you for this surprise. It's a That's very fine. it's a very healthy gift too. Yeah. <laughs> So now we're on the way to have dinner at this Kopitiam food court area which is pretty crowded. So this is like a really herbal dish, Chinese dish. We have Braised eggs with Caleb is so impressed by Braised all the way through So it goes well with the noodles And over here we have a bunch of otak otak Here's our otak otak Literally a stack of leaves as I mentioned So let's unravel it and see the jewel inside Ooh, Look at that It's like a shiny piece of um, orange meat It's normal for you <laughs> You eat here You eat here often, sorry, wrong person to ask <laughs> but not too spicy. It's good, it's creamy and rich. Very good. Good morning guys. It is day two in Johor. So far it's been pretty good, lovely place. And for today it's a really sunny day. Check out the sunlight. Today we are gonna go to Singapore. I'm so excited because JB is actually just one hour away from Singapore. We're gonna take a little bus travel from um, the coast highway and go over to Singapore. It's going to be pretty fast. I'll be doing it in a separate episode since it's going to be quite chaotic and quite fun. I have my bag of clothes which I have specially separated for Singapore. My uh, wardrobe for that trip is different than my Johor wardrobe, trust me. Okay, we're about to leave now. Catch you guys later. Can you believe it guys? We are literally walking from Singapore to the customs in between Singapore and Malaysia. The traffic is so bad. Like really, really bad between Singapore and Malaysia for the causeway. And we are walking. We are literally walking to the customs because it's so much faster. Do you hear that? Yeah, I'm like pretty shook. We were actually on the bus, but then the bus couldn't move and he opened the door and all of us just ran out to walk instead. There are people behind me walking. 
Look at the jam, guys. Oh, it's so awesome. bad. Yeah. These people from me are just walking towards the border between Malaysia and Singapore. So are we. It's so much faster. Oh. Wow, this is like complete chaos. <laughs> Okay, we're walking and this is the river next to us. Like we're literally walking over the border. Under the rain. I'm so wretched, Caleb. <laughs> My first time taking the bus and I had to walk. Last night's ordeal, I'm finally rested. After like, I just KO straight away and... Oh, there's a cat there. Oh, we're gonna have breakfast at this place. Where are we now? We saw one, two, three, food court. Oh, three, 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 food court. Uh, yeah, we're just at a food court near his house for lunch, breakfast. It's literally like gonna be 12 now. The weather is so cooling and this place is really, really crowded. The chicken skin is like glossy <laughs> and shiny. It's been a pretty wild night yesterday if you guys have seen the footage. It's... We are dead. Yeah, I'm so tired. I, I woke up at 10 actually. Pretty late, my first time in a long time. Wow, this is my vibrant bowl of prawn mee. You can see the texture of the soup. It's runny and these are the crispy onion bits with tofu, shrimp, eggs, and most importantly, the broth. So I'm gonna stir it up, and I bet it's gonna be really, really tasty. And I have some little sambal on the side, add to the taste. I think I wore a white shirt, guys. <laughs> it's gonna stain my shirt all over. Ooh. It's really good. The flavor of the prawn is well balanced, and so tasty. Refreshing. We are in the typical Asian grocer here in Johor and Caleb plans to cook dinner tonight since he is like a fan of cooking. So we're thinking of doing sous vide chicken already chef and I am absolutely hopeless when it comes to thinking of what to cook. We are trying to find this blue lake and we're in a quarry area which actually is quite dangerous at this un dangerous. unpaved road and it's raining and you see that's how muddy and potholy the road is so I'm a little bit like anxious on what's gonna happen he's just calm like look guys all construction area it says that we are super near you see strange it's literally raining on me right now but we are at the glass temple, the famous Indian glass temple. First in uh, JB and also I think the oldest Hindu temple in Malaysia, allegedly. Thousands and thousands of glass pieces on it, making it really shiny. Let's go in. Okay, so we have to put our shoes away because they don't allow footwear in the temple. We're gonna place it here. And these are the opening times. So if you are a tourist, which most people are, it's a 10 ringgit entrance fee. Wow, check this place out. It is so sparkly and beautiful. Can you guys just see the amount of shininess and glass pieces? A lot of work, right? I think. See, like everything, you know. I cannot imagine, man, the amount of hard work and uh, dedication to this. Then you like it. 
<laughs> yeah, if you like the bling, <laughs> you can come here. Thank you. Please open it. Open it? Yes. Because it's still hot. Oh, okay. Thank you. This is the famous banana cake from Hyapju Bakery at this tiny lane right near the city coast and I have actually managed to grab the large one this is 10 ringgit for two portions of this brick size and it smells divine guys it smells so good I tried it one time and I had to buy it this is probably one of the best selling um, cakes you can get as a souvenir from Johor I don't know if you can see just how fluffy and soft it is it's literally squishy Mmm, so moist and soft. No wonder you always buy this. Yep, baked with charcoal. Baked with charcoal? Wow. Yeah, I think it's like a traditional family business. Most likely, I think. And not very sweet. That's the best part. Not too sweet. It's time for our dessert. As always, I need my daily dose of dessert. Today, we're gonna try something different. Um, we're gonna try hot cookies with ice cream. So these cookies are going to be baked really hot, served with something cold for a twist. So I'm thinking like lava cookies around that type. My chocolate lava with berry cheese ice cream and I can see it's really melting instantly. It smells really buttery. Cookie is so buttery and flaky, and there's lava. Maybe we can come closer and see. And it melts. What a perfect combination! It feels just like Christmas. Mm. Caleb is getting the matcha lava cookie, the lava matcha sauce, and Earl Grey ice cream. This is like the ultimate tea flavors green tea and English tea. I can tell it's gonna be really good. Oh no, it's, it's submerging <laughs> in itself. It's a perfect combination. Green tea and black tea. Oh no, it's melting so fast. <laughs> Must faster salvage it. We have a lot of butter and blue cheese here. The stinky cheese. And here we have Chef Caleb basting his chicken in lots of butter and rosemary. And fun fact, he actually grew his own rosemary in his garden. <laughs> he is self-sustaining. I love the smell of melted butter. Sous vide chicken with rosemary. I bet this is going to taste amazing. But yeah, after eating out for so many days, it's good to have something home cooked. Buying like traditional Hakka Kuei, I think. Uh, There's a lot of variety here you can buy. So I'm gonna buy a few to bring back for my family. So this is like Angku Kuei, white colored Kuei with probably vegetables inside. Here we have the fried goodies like curry puffs and also fried sesame red bean buns, popias, and other varieties of buns. So I can't really speak Mandarin, so he's gonna help me buy. Finally here at Johor Premium Outlet. It's raining now literally on me and it's a very very crowded day on Sunday. Rain is not going to stop them but I am here to shop or at least I hope I can. So take a look around with me as we go for some shopping time. 
Okay, Gucci has a lot of people lining up. Coach has long line of people waiting outside. It's 2 p.m. now. Wow, so packed. So this outlet has almost 150 outlets in here. You can go crazy buying all your stuff. And most of them might be in a cheaper price. Shop to your heart drop, literally. So I actually have a shopping list. I want to get white shoes or white trainers. There are about 15 shops I want to visit. A lot actually. I don't know if I can cover it in this episode. Let's see. Okay. I'm here at Nike to find my shoes and just look at the crowd to pay. This is crazy. Okay, let's see if I can find something here. Okay. Well, it looks not bad. Wow, check this out. This is sick. It's a Nike Air Max Premium and after discount, it is 369 ringgit. What do you think? Should I get this? This looks really, really cool. This is pretty fine looking backpack. Check out the detail. And of course, there yeah, are array of shoes. It's very hard to find pure white shoes that are good material. My attempt at Lacoste has not come to any fruition. All of them are either not suitable or they just don't fit well and it hurts. Especially this hard base. It looks good but it hurts. Okay, in Clarks, every shoe is 199 Maximum price. I'm so tempted to buy literally every shoe here. But I am however looking also for work shoes. Something either like black or brown. But I don't know which one. So we're here at Puma. Check out this shoe. It's in leather, white. But Killer doesn't like it because he says it's too holy. <laughs> okay guys, I finally found it. I can finally sleep. So I bought two shoes at JPO. This is the first one. It is a white Lacoste sneakers or trainers and half the price guys. It is insane. It was initially 360 ringgit but I got it for 170. What do you think guys? It's really a steal. I'm so happy. Also, this is the Ortholite version, so the base has a little bit of a sponginess compared to the original Lacoste. I'm just gonna wear this every day, all day. The second pair I got are these black classy loafers from Hush Puppies. Check them out, they are so sleek and I love the stitching and the finish. It's really something that I always wanted. Also, below 200 ringgit, I think it was like 190. Really a steal. Alright guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am satisfied with my shopping and the whole trip overall to Johor in Singapore. Really amazing. Ate so much food. It was a lovely place and did a lot of sightseeing. So make sure you look out for the vlogs in Johor in Singapore. There's going to be many released differently at different times. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!